Hey guys, Spartan Jess here, and today I'll be reviewing the Foundry Airsoft Battle Rifle Kit, made for the Airsoft UAR. And with this review video and other reviews moving forward, I'm going to split these episodes into three phases. The first being the assembly guide, the second being gameplay, and the third phase being the actual review. Without further ado, let's head straight into the video. Alright, so the first segment of this video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to assemble this Foundry Airsoft Battle Rifle Kit. What you're going to be getting with this Foundry Airsoft Battle Rifle is the front part of the gun, the top rail assembly, the grip, or you can use an M-Lock for it, the magwell extension, the 7.5 extended outer barrel, and your choice of 3-prong or 4-prong flash hider, a couple of magazine extensions, and the pistol grip extension which goes at the bottom down here. Included with all those main parts are the connectors, bolts, and nuts that connect to the bolts. And the first step that we're going to have to do is take off the UAR flash hider. Now as you can see mine is a little torn off because of the way I was trying to take mine off. Now the people who make the UARs decided it was a great idea to put super glue inside of the threads of these and attach it onto the barrel of the UAR. So the way that you're going to have to take this flash hider off is that you're going to have to run this under hot water with a barrel facing downwards and you're making sure that you're not getting any water inside of your airsoft gun. And what that's going to do is going to loosen up the super glue and it's going to make it so it's easier for you to pull off this flash hider. So you're going to want to take this off so you can proceed with putting this kit together. And yes, I know mine looks really bad and ugly, but real honestly, I'm never going to use this flash hider ever again. This is the same UAR that I used for my homemade Halo MA5B. If you guys haven't seen that, make sure to go check it out. So I'll be using this same UAR with the Foundry Airsoft Battle Rifle Kit. Now let's start off with some of the easy steps to this conversion. Now at first, it took me a minute to figure out how to attach the pistol grip extension, but what you have to do is take off these two extra parts that are held together by two bolts. So you take those off, align these in there, and make sure you know which one is the right one. Basically what you're trying to do is get your pistol grip extension to be at the same slant as your pistol grip. Once you have these two pieces placed inside of your pistol grip by these grooves down here, put the pistol grip extension right in between the two, slide the two screws in there, and tighten them afterwards. So after adding on the pistol grip extension, we're gonna be moving on to assembling the mag well. It's gonna be taking these three really tall bolts and two small bolts as well. These bolt sizes are unique and used specifically for the mag well. And don't worry about trying to sort through them all. All these bolts and screws and connectors and everything else that comes with this kit will be separated in their own little plastic bags that Foundry Airsoft provides for you. And they also provide extra parts for you just in case if you lose any of these parts. So once you put the side where the bolts will be going through, you're gonna to need to put this mirrored on the other side of the BR as well. And this is the side where you're going to be putting your nuts based off how this side was modeled and designed. Now for tightening these bolts, I suggest using both your hex keys, one to tighten the bolt and the other to stabilize your nuts so it doesn't move around while you're tightening your bolt. And that's how you attach your magwell extension for your battle rifle kit. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys how to attach your bottom plate or your magazine extension. Now, it's a super easy process. All you have to do, unscrew the screw right here, pull the middle part of the magazine up just a little bit, push the bottom of the magazine plate off, and then just slide on your brand new one. Take the same screw that you just took out of the magazine and screw it right into this new battle rifle magazine extension, and voila. Okay, so up next, we're going to be assembling the main body of the battle rifle, which is going to be the whole front section that's going to be attached on top of the UAR. So by connecting each one of these parts together, we're going to be using these connectors. By doing so, we're going to be placing two holes of the connector into one side to match the holes right here. I suggest doing one bolt at a time. And just like before, we're going to be placing our nuts right into the area that's designed to house these. And use your hex key to push the bolt all the way through the hole. And honestly, it's going to be very repetitive from here, just because you're doing the same thing with all these other holes with the connectors and all the other bolts and this is what's going to be attaching your entire body into one piece oh and also you're not just going to be putting one connector on each body you're going to be placing two one at the top and one at the bottom now 
now that we got our two connectors, let's repeat the process on all four of these little bits. And then later we're gonna be assembling our top rail piece. And then afterwards, we're gonna be assembling our bottom grip. Now let's move on to putting together this top rail of this kit. Now you're gonna be using the same connectors and the same technique by putting the bolts in and on the other side you're going to be attaching the nut and you know the steps from there but the one thing that's different is the fact that you're going to have to be putting together these bigger screws that come with the top rail this is what's going to allow you to put on your top rail and attach it to your main body of the battle rifle Now that we've got the long and excruciating process of putting the main body and the top rail all assembled together with all these bolts and nuts and all these little connectors, now you get to attach your choice of the battle rifle handguard or the M-lock. Make sure you use these long skinny bolts that come with the bottom grip and they'll be organized in the little plastic bag so don't worry about trying to sort out for them. Now let's see how it looks with the M-lock. So in order to attach your M-lock onto your battle rifle, you're first going to have to place your nuts on this side of the battle rifle. Place your M-lock, and you can see right there where these are supposed to be held together. Now you might want to put the nuts on one at a time. And that's how you attach your M-lock. So the final step to assemble your battle rifle kit will be to attach the main body onto your UAR. And if you guys notice that my UAR has a green and a yellow wire, these are the wires that were for my ammo counter that Redshirt and I installed for the MA5B tutorial. So if you guys haven't done this tutorial for the ammo counter, then you won't have to worry about avoiding this green and yellow wire. So the first step is that we're going to put the entire battle rifle body onto the UAR just like this. And what you're gonna to have to do first is get this bottom piece right here to go and flush with the hole right there. And then afterwards, you're gonna be wanting to get these two grooves right here with the holes in them to fit flush with the hole right here. So what you're basically trying to do is use the two pins that come with the UAR itself. The small one going right here and the taller one going right here. And these two pins are gonna be holding the battle rifle onto your UAR. It slides on just like that. Snaps on pretty nice as well. And now place in your pins. You might need to hold down the battle rifle kit, squeeze it into the UAR just a little bit more so the pins can go in flush. There's your first one, here's the second one. And it's that easy. Now let's attach our extended outer barrel. Now whenever you're gonna be screwing this on, you're gonna be counterclockwise. Now that we have that tightened onto the UAR's barrel, you're gonna take your three or four prong and go lefty as well. And this is the fully assembled battle rifle kit made by Foundry Airsoft. Let's go watch a little bit of gameplay with this bad boy, shall we? And after the gameplay footage, we'll come back to my personal opinion and review about this battle rifle made by Foundry Airsoft. Heck yeah, loving this thing. I turned to blue, baby! Oh. Woo! So, 
what do I think about this kit? Well, one thing that I really like is the fact that the extended barrel allows me to put on any other attachment, like my BT Tracer unit from Ace Tech, and it sits on there pretty nicely. One thing I do want to mention though is the fact that with specifically my three prong attachment, whenever I'm trying to shoot this battle rifle with the three prong attachment on, sometimes a BB will ricochet off of one of the prongs on the three prong. I'm guessing it's because the hole inside of the three prong is not really too big. This happen very rarely but it did occasionally happen i'm pretty sure because of the three prong it's initially intended to have an extended inner barrel all i have is the extended outer barrel and the three prong now whenever i put my ace tech bt tracer unit onto it i haven't had any of that ricocheting or bouncing inside of the barrel whatsoever so it might just be the three prong itself so two ways to avoid that problem is one make the hole of the three prong a little bit bigger or two, get a longer inner barrel. That's just a minor problem. The other thing to be wary about whenever you have this kit is the fact that this Magwell extension does not play well with regular M4 magazines. Meaning that if it has this curve right here and it tries to go in, it won't try to snap in all the way. Reason being is because of this lip right here. To counteract this, you could dremel this magwell area right here. And that should be able to fix a problem in order for your regular M4 magazines to snap in there. So with that being said, this kit was definitely made with shorty mags in mind. And whenever placing your magazine inside, make sure to put it in and make sure you hear the snap inside of the magwell. And this magazine extension here is mainly there so it's a lot easier for you to grab your magazine so you don't have to dig in there just in case you have to reload pretty quickly in, a, in the midst of a firefight. And with those two things out of the way, overall, I'm actually very pleased with this kit. <laughs> I was impressed with how durable the material of the 3D print is since it's made out of a carbon fiber polymer. I'm impressed with the fact that it has so much rail space for you to put other optics on so you can remove this top piece if you want and you can add a bunch of stuff onto the top rail. And the BR rail acts as an extended riser, so that's a plus in itself. Also, the BR comes with side rails just like the Halo Infinite version. I do like the extended part, how well it's designed to fit perfectly on the back of the UAR. Real honestly, I'm thinking about keeping this on my UAR whenever I switch in between my AR or the battle rifle. Also, one thing I forgot to mention is the fact that this kit also comes with a neat little compass on top. Now, since it's on a slant, it's not gonna tell you which way is exactly north, south, east, or west, and it's not battery operated. It functions just like a regular compass, so if it's gonna be on its side, it's not gonna be always accurate. But it's a neat little addition to the kit. Also, this kit doesn't come with the ammo counter, but Foundry Airsoft, at the moment, is actually designing their very own ammo counter for this kit. It's not known if it's gonna be modular between any of its future projects, but we're just gonna have to wait and see. I definitely suggest using the three round burst MOSFET to get that three round burst battle rifle functionality that just about anybody that would have this kit would really want. And it's really cool that the battle rifle comes with a variant that allows you to have an M lock instead of the battle rifle grip up here. So overall, I am very pleased with Foundry Airsoft's battle rifle kit made for the UAR. It's a nice addition to the small arsenal of the Halo Airsoft weapons that are out there at the moment. And anybody that's ever played Halo definitely recognizes the Halo 2 battle rifle. So this kit definitely gets a thumbs up from me. And real quick, here's a sneak peek of the next video. And this is what the SOCOM ODST Magnum looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I would like to thank Foundry Airsoft for providing the battle rifle early before its official release date. And as usual, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget, this is truly Combat Evolved.